Good afternoon. Uh, as Dr. Nwachek said, I've been here for four months. Um, Al and I are the two new guys here in the room. And today what I want to do is I'm going to walk you through, I have basically three goals. I'm going to talk about how we ended the year. I'm going to talk about the budget for 2019. And I'm going to talk about capital projects. So the first thing I want to talk about is we operated this year in a fiscally responsible manner. I mean, we balanced our budget even though we had less revenue that came in. Uh, we met the USM fund balance reserve goals. Um, we're required to put 1% away of our revenue each year into our fund balance. We did achieve that this year. Uh, and we're also working toward a goal of having 25% overall in our restricted fund balance. Uh, that's a system requirement primarily to support our bond rating with the system. Um, Moody's looks at that as along with Standard and Poor's and Fitch, and that's how we are rated, and that's how the system maintains their triple A bond rating. Uh, we also met our facilities replacement goal this year of 2% of our value um, for all of our state buildings. So that, that has gone very well this year. So this year we ended our year very well. For our budget for 2019, uh, our overall gross revenue is 100 and about $103 million. Um, our fund balance, the 1% that I just spoke about, um, that comes off the top. Likewise, our scholarships to our students, our institutional funds come off the top. So we're at $93.8 million overall for our budget for the year. Now, the spending that we're planning to do uh, is for facilities renewal. That's the 2% based on this year's um, revenue. Uh, that we spoke about on the previous slide, and our salaries and our fringe benefits, better known to most as Object 1, um, is about $57 million, and our Object 2 through 14, our operating expenses, are about $34.3 million. So there's our 93.8. This year we do and have achieved a balanced budget. That is our plan. Um, the budget components. Uh, our revenue is primarily made of, as most of you know, of tuition, and state appropriations. Our state appropriation this year is pretty flat. I mean, for about $43 million is what we get from the state this year. The rest comes from tuition and fees uh, and our auxiliary services for housing, meal plans, and the like. And that's where our $93.8 million comes from. You can kind of think of that as our checkbook. That's about how much cash we're planning on receiving this year to pay our bills and to pay everyone uh, on campus salaries and fringe benefits. Um, to break down the $34.3 million just a little bit further so you can see what the components are, um, the biggest piece of it overall is administration and finance. And our area covers uh, things that aren't allocated, like we don't allocate bond costs that we have to pay out. We don't allocate utilities to individual departments. All of that stays within the finance and administration office, and we pay those, and that's what one of the reasons that number is so high. I'd also like to talk a little bit about uh, on capital projects. This is what we've done this year uh, in facilities renewal. On the academic side, you know, we spent a good deal um, on the education and health sciences building management fee. That was the primary thing that we spent capital on that project. Uh, we did some work on Compton. Uh, we replaced some boilers and, and did some work in the fine arts room. Um, the biggest thing that we spent uh, was the pull and haul re renovations. I mean, that was one of the biggest things that we did this year. Um, we upgraded and moved the counseling and uh, the counseling center over to Cumberland. That is completed. We've done a lot of work on sidewalks and paving um, and, and lightings and chillers. For 2019, um, more of our funding is going to move to the academic side. Uh, we want to start working on collaborative spaces um, in some of our existing buildings. So we selected a couple of rooms that we're really going to spend some time working on, turning them into more collaborative spaces for our students. Uh, we still have some work to do on chillers. Um, we've got carpeting work to do. We've got a lot of mechanical work to do around campus. Um, but we're going to try and make sure that we get all the academic side done. And we have some more work to do at Pullen. Um, the old police building, which Dr. Nwatek talked about a bit, 
um, we've got $140,000 set aside um, to help renovate that building once the committee's work is done deciding exactly what direction we're going to go with that building. Um, the network infrastructure is one of the things that um, I know that IT wants to do around campus. Our network is getting very, very old and dated. Uh, a lot of our switches and things need to be replaced. Uh, we were fortunate enough to be able to take part of a system program with Cisco um, to borrow 750000 at zero interest. Uh, it was a program that they have for large institutions. We were able to take advantage of that, so all we have to commit this year is 150000 to that project, but we get the benefit of the finishing our entire system for the year. So I think that worked out really well for that. And um, you know, thanks to Troy Donaway for you know really doing the work to put together a plan to get this done and get it done quickly. Because the last thing you want is a big network crash here on campus. So that will be done here shortly. Um, the surf building upgrades I think is a, a big improvement. Uh, we're, we're running electricity. We've run gas. I think the gas is almost done. So that will turn that building into a functional space. Um, and then the question is. You know, what, what do we do with that space? But at least that space will be functional, it will be heated, and it will have lighting. Um, other things that are, are going on, you know, Hitchens has some mechanical issues, and there's a, a lot of little minor things that we will be doing around campus this year. The two big things that are going on here are the new residence hall. Um, you probably noticed that we've broken ground on that building. Um, it's all fenced off. It is coming along very, very well. Uh, the project is on time. Um, hopefully it will finish on budget, um, but we're still working through that and we meet on that project every other week, you know, with the contractors, with the project manager from USM, so that project is coming along very well. Um, the other project, the Education and Health Sciences building, as Dr. Wachek said, we met on that this morning. Um, we, they, you know, the architects actually brought in some models and had a, probably four different schemes that we looked at as to how that building would look. Uh, this was one of, one of the schemes that we looked at. Um, there were three others. Um, you know, faculty were there, the deans were there, and we talked about how that building should be laid out. So we kind of got a building selected out of the four options, and now the question is just how we're going to move people around, what's going to be on what floor, and that type of thing. So basically, that's um, all I really have to share with you today. Um, I'm glad that I've been here for these four months. It's been a, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I'm very grateful to my staff. Um, you know, thanks to Denise Murphy and Sherry Sheets who are up in the audience. I mean, I really appreciate all the hard work they've done. They've helped to keep me out of trouble um, and kept me within the system guidelines for, for many things. Having come out of a private institution, this is a little bit different. Um, than um, my experience in the past, but it has been very enjoyable, and I'm really grateful for all the people who have supported me while I've been here. Thank you.